My name is Rodrigo. My name is Monsen. My name is Isaac, and we are in San Diego, California. The jobs that I remember the most is that being a bartender at night, but also cleaning the bars um, during the day. Mm -hmm. And we would always go with him to go clean the bars. I remember um, as a child, you know, playing hide and seek at Eastern Alley, and it's a huge nightclub, you know, several rooms. And so it was the funnest thing to do to play hide and seek. <laughs> um, and then also, like, to go get the little cherries and see who can, like, you know, do the little nod in it and, you know, yeah. pretend to be DJs. It was the funnest thing. Yeah. And as we grew up, I mean, we started working and we started actually helping him clean and taught us what a, what a, what good work looks like. I was 13 when I started working with him. Um, but, you know, as I was growing up, it did bring a lot of, you know, hardship of like, you're working, you know, you're still going to school, you know, you're walking down downtown, you know, at five in the morning, carrying the vacuum on your back. And, you know, sometimes we'd feel bad or a little bit of shame. But then I remember like carrying that vacuum on my back mm -hmm. and then just kind of like staring up at my dad and he had his head high, really high. And so I was like, nope, like if he has his head up high and he's proud of his work, like I don't have to, you know, be feeling these things. And so it was a process, but it really taught me to, you know, um, be grateful for the job that I was doing and how to work really hard and how to always try my best um, in any work that I do. Yeah, I feel like my dad made us feel like the kings and queens of downtown. <laughs> <laughs> I never really thought much about being undocumented until I got a little bit older and in my teens. It was when I was applying to, you know, universities and um, I got accepted to 13, but, you know, I, I couldn't go. I didn't have financial aid. Everyone's doing, you know, Pell Grant, everyone's getting financial aid, and I was like, uh-oh, what's, mm -hmm. what's going to happen now? That's something that a lot of immigrants go through for a lot of immigrants that do what they have to do and get good grades and are focused and driven on to making a career out of what they love, no? And then they all of a sudden they get to this finish line and it's, it's another, it's not a finish line, it's another hurdle. Mm -hmm.